Hey guys, the Henderson Hasselbalch equation can be used to solve buffer solution, uh, finding the pH of buffer solutions. But lots of people wonder where it comes from, and most people don't tell you. So, here's what I'm getting at. If you have this equilibrium, which is an acid in water in equilibrium with its conjugate base and protonated water or hydronium, you already know that Ka is products over reactants. It's an equilibrium. H3O plus, A minus, that's conjugate base, all over HA. Now, here's what you do to find or derive the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. The first thing I want you to do is take the negative log of both sides. So, negative log of Ka on this side negative log of this monstrosity on the other side. A minus HA. Now, here's the cool thing. Because we're using a logarithm here, and there are certain log rules we can take advantage of, we're allowed to rearrange that equation to this. Negative log of KA equals negative log H3O plus minus log A minus over HA. We're breaking up this, the thing that we're taking the log of into the sum of two separate logs. But because we have a negative out front, that negative gets distributed and so it's two minuses. Now, check this out. The negative log of Ka is a special number called the pKa. The negative log of H3O plus, hopefully you guys recognize that that's pH. And I'm going to flip this here, take this to the exponent of negative one. And by doing that, I can cause this to be positive, plus the log of HA over A minus. That's another log rule. In any case, this is your Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. We All we did was start with the original equilibrium expression that you guys all know and love. Take the negative log of both sides, divide up this, r replace things like negative log k with pk, negative log h plus with ph, and you end up with a nice smooth equation that we can plug the concentration of acid and conjugate base into to get the pH. Now, what you probably use the henderson hasselbalch equation for is to find the pH. So I'm actually going to rearrange this, move the pH to this side. No, I'll keep the pH on that side. And I'll move the log to the other side. So my pH is my pKa minus the log of the HA over A minus. Your teacher may have this as a plus sign if these two are flipped, but this is probably the form of it you're more familiar with where you're actually solving for pH. Can't believe I almost missed that. Hey, that's how you derive it. Best of luck.